What's up, YouTubers? I am the J Train Kid. You, you can tell by my background. But I'm going to show you guys how to install um, Ubuntu 10. Point, what you call that? 10. Point, ooh, 10 onto your computer. Um, so, what you would do, you will go to the installation disk. Um, you will hit install through Windows. Um, you would put how many gigabytes? Uh, so on my computer I have 30 gigabytes left on the C drive, so maybe something less. I don't want to listen too much. Isn't that a lot? That's well, good. You change the username. Um, Put your password. Now, you could change the environment. The environment. The environment. Yeah, that's right. Um, you have. Oh, right now for your Ubuntu. Sweet. And then you'll hit install. With scaling in. There is no space. And that name you just saw was not my real one, so. Okay, so you will go through this. Let me give you an overview of it. Just show you a picture of how it looks like. Uh, um, hold on. These are some cool pictures. Um, it looks like Apple. You could make the carousel come up. Um, you have the Mac version, the iPad version right now out. And this is the Ubuntu logo. Now the server is very, it's free. Um, could put this on your cell phone. Yes. Um, I'll maybe have another video for that when I get my new phone. Um, so that's basically it. You'll get an extraction from the CD drive, which may take about four to seven minutes. Um, uh, then you it'll go through some process, and the thing you this thing you always have to be connected to the internet. No matter what, like, well, you for to install it, you have to be connected. So, as you can see, my logo right here says I am connected. Before it was, if it doesn't say that, if it says you have a problem, go to property, oops, wrong thing, let's go to support and repair. Mine doesn't have a problem. Um, so. Almost done. I got 30 seconds left. The old Ubuntu um setup was. Oh, that's the notebook version. So see, type Okay. This is the old one. You had Kumo, which is basically for pictures. This is like for photo edit. Um, well, most the um Kim Bun. Hubunto and Xbunto is like basically for pictures. And this one is for movies and such, such stuff. Um, okay. See what it says. Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get this finished. Okay, hold on. Oh. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just try the one more time. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, forget it. And now we reboot. Sorry for that little thing. That was not meant to be done. So shutting down. 
So, yeah, it is a Dell computer. Okay, you button top. So I forgot, you must have the CD in the computer at all times. Oh, this this is a beautiful, beautiful one. I just this is the best one I I, I think um, they made. It's nice. Before they had like a bumper bumping back and forth. Um, there's a old version I have. I'm gonna put out the videos after this one, and I'm straight into the boot up of installing verification um I'm detecting okay welcome to Ubuntu it's giving me a little prompt you have your oh in the old version it did not have um a Ubuntu um, software creator, just like a, on Android or Windows or BlackBerry World. Um, see, get free software, and this is how it would look. Um, then the next page would have um, well, basically photo editing. Um, the next one has telling you, um, get a free Ubuntu One account. You get, you just basically connect your phone to, um, your Ubuntu computer. Um, buy music, email and chat. There's Skype preloaded. Um, there's. Twitter, Facebook, and whoa, whatever that is. Preloaded is a social beat right there. Um, you have included. So wait. Oh yes, it is preloaded. Um, included software is Firefox, and you could it supports Google Chrome and Flash. For me, I would just download Google Chrome because I can't take Firefox. Um, customizing um, and creating documents with OpenOffice.org and Tom Tomboy Notes. And if you need any help, go to Ubuntu.com/support. Enjoy your Ubuntu computer, and then you're back to the um, welcome. So, you have a grayish, like, bar. On top you have, uh, what is this? This is the, oh, everything's locked. Uh, it's just terminal. Tell me what I'm, what it's doing. It's retrieving the files. One e one five. Um. Okay. I I did when I went to go buy the software. I know it's a free open source thing, but I had to buy software for it, the old version. Then I put it on my hard drive. Um. They did tell me it has a built-in virus protector. But the bad part, I have Webroot. And you can't install that on it, so I'll wait. I'm gonna leave this go, and I'll link the video up. Okay, peace out for right now.